Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about the movement cards in the Lenormand system. The cards that move, the things that shift, causes change or activity, that sort of thing. So there are three cards that are kind of the cards you would expect to see for movement. These are kind of basics to reading. People come to us, they want to know when things will be shifting and moving, and it's important to know how to read these cards. There are also three cards that some people might not necessarily uh, associate with movement, but they actually have a lot to do with movement, the type of movement that's involved. So let's talk about these six cards. So the first one is the obvious one, and that is the ship card. This is a Stralsunder Lenormand deck, sorry. It's a um, historic deck. And the ship card does show movement, shifting, getting one from one thing or place to another, whether it's a physical location or a metaphorical shift in your life. The next card that we wanna think about is the Stork card. This is a wonderful card of movement, and this is usually upward movement, better movement. It's about promotions. It's about getting to a better place. So um, going from one thing to another thing that is better. So think of upward movement when you think of the stork. It's like, don't worry, it'll be better. And this can also be temporary movement as in migration. Uh, not always, but uh, again, context is key. Another card that shows movement is our writer card, moving on, moving. Uh, when I see this card in a relationship reading and the writer comes up, um, and I'm not using, the, traditionally if you don't have two man cards, the, the writer can be the significator for the other person if it's another man. Um, I prefer to use decks with two man cards because I like the movement that this gives. It also tells us if something is temporary um, because I tend to see in relationship readings this is more like a passing through. Think of Paul Revere on his horse. It's like, you know, it, it comes, he goes by, and he's gone. So um, I've seen this often in relationship readings where it's just either a date or a hookup or, you know, short-term thing. But again, Context is key, that's not always the case. You wanna really take a look at the cards carefully that are around that card, but that can show some moving. Another card that by default shows a shift and change in movement, and that is the path card. So when you think of the path, um, you start on one long road and suddenly it splits. So you have no option but left or right. There's a decision to be made. So in the beginning of the spread, consider yourself on that long road and whoop, you've got a choice, left or right, which will I do? So in a reading, if this is in the beginning of a spread, the cards that follow the path will show you the results of that choice, what will happen. Once you're on that decision, left or right, and you do it, um, you've taken an exit from where you were. So that's such a shift from a paradigm or a place where you were. So you've made the decision and now you're seeing the outcome of an exit from one place you were to another. So at the end of a spread, even if it's a little three card line spread, this often indicates an exit or a departure from something and you wanna know what they're departing or exiting from, just look at the cards before it. There you'll get information about what was just, uh, what was just left. But this indicates a change. So it, um, it does indicate a shift a movement, making a decision, some kind of action that happens and the results of that. Another one that we have is the scythe. So this indicates more of um, an editing, taking what you have and editing, weeding out, um, chopping down, making less, cutting, stopping. It's almost like this is the brake pedal or something that whittles away something. So even though it is not the same kind of fast moving as in the, the ship and you're just going, what you've got here is some kind of change. And this does indicate movement in someone's life. If you think about it, those brakes in your car are creating a different type of movement than when you were already moving along. So it's not the same as a stasis card, like the, the um, mountain, for example, in the case just staying staying or the anchor those are more staying cards um, this is a difference from what was so it's a shift a different kind of movement even though it's a slowing down or stopping okay so just so that you understand that this does create some kind of um, change from what was and lastly this is an interesting one is the broom and whip so this indicates repetition 
activity over and over you keep at it so even if sometimes if you get this it's like you're, you keep trying and repeating and doing it over and over it still is some kind of activity so it's not like I said with the mountain you're not just sitting and hoping and waiting or you're not just getting nowhere you're still moving and acting and um, this shows exercise action movement repetition it's something that somebody keeps doing over and over again so um, this also indicates some kind of movement as well is in addition to its other meanings which could be conflict debates abuse even that sort of thing all right so those are the major movement cards in the little one things to look for in your reading when people come to you for readings and i'd love to hear your comments have a great lenormand filled day